Hi folks, Steve the Hurricane here. It's Sunday night, which means it's time for another exciting episode of A Drink with the Hurricane. Cheers. So for today's episode of A Drink with the Hurricane, we're actually going to talk about one of my favorite things to do and one of my favorite things to have as a marketing rep or a business owner who does external marketing. And that is the effective use of your promotional items. All right, there are so many different things out there that you can give people, and I'm not going to talk about what to give. There's clipboards, there's lanyards, there's pens, coffee cups, magnets, uh, mouse pads, it goes water bottles, it just goes on and on with all the items that you can give. And, and one item may be more effective than another. I, I personally like clipboards. I used to give ice scrapers in the winter time. Those were very well received items that people liked. But the purpose of a promotional item is really to give something away that gives us a reason to show up to that referral source that day. Because we all know that once we get in a place and we start talking to people and we've toured it already and we may have done an in-service lunch and learn and the social workers and the physicians, they already have our brochures. If you go in there without having a reason for being there, and we know the real reason is to get referrals, right? But if we don't have a reason for being there from their point of view, that you may get that, you know, Steve, we, we, we have your information, we know what you do, you know, what are you doing here today? You don't have to come every single week, yada, yada, whatever. So having another reason for showing up there every single week is really, really important. And so there's five or six different things that I train people on, but for today we're going to talk about the promotional item. Now, if you belong to a home health company, if you belong to a hospice company, all right, and you have the whole Medicare guidelines, don't be afraid to give away promotional items. You are allowed to give away promo items as long as they don't exceed $10 value. Because if they do, then that's considered a kickback. So you can't give somebody a $25 gift card to iTunes or a $50 gift card to Red Lobster or some restaurant or whatever. That's a kickback. That you can't do. But giving somebody a pen or a coffee cup or whatever, as long as it's less than $10, you're allowed to do that. So work within the realm of your limitations and with your quality assurance. And you can do that. So anyway... When I come over every single month, I came by once a month and I drop off a promotional item. Obviously all the things that I talked about, but it gave me a reason to show up. So I come in today and they'd be like, hey Gene, how are you doing today? Nice to meet you. Oh hey Steve, what's going on? Nothing much. We just got these brand new promo items that came in and I wanted to make sure that you received one from me. Oh, how thoughtful. How are you doing? How was your weekend? What's going on this weekend if it's later on in the week? Start schmoozing. You know, do what I call the sandwich approach. So I would schmooze for a little bit and then I would say in the middle, by the way, I have a couple of great caregivers that just came off of a case available and I'm trying to find work for them. If you have anybody going home who could use help, they could have one of my best caregivers. And so, you know, enjoy your movie that you're seeing this weekend, enjoy your holiday weekend or whatever the case may be as I schmooze on my way out the door. Now, as I did that middle part with my whole sandwich approach, that was when I talk about my company. That's when I talk about my business. And usually that's when they say, hmm, you know what, I do have somebody for you. I got to go talk to them, but I'll let you know later on today or hang tight or go see someone else and then I'm okay. I go see someone else, I give them a promo item to start the conversation and then I schmooze, and then I do my sandwich approach again, and I repeat, and I repeat, and I repeat this in every facility, and every physician's office, and every place that I go to. That's how we market. But again, if I came in and I didn't have anything to open with, or nothing to discuss, or no reason for being there, I could have had the, you know, what are you doing here today? We have your stuff and information, blah, 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 so on and so forth. And I never would have had an opportunity to ask for the sale or ask for the business in the middle. So that's the tip for the week, folks. If you want to find out all of the things that I go through on how to have a reason every single week for drop-by visits, then I strongly suggest you sign up for Team Hurricane. Every single month I do live webinars with people and I answer your questions specifically to your market. There's also a 
five-part webinar series that I did over the course of five months earlier this year that you can check out in the archive. The final step, I talk about drop-by visits and I give you everything you need so that every single week of the month, you can go to these accounts, come back, and have a reason for being there. So I urge you, sign up for Team Hurricane, listen to that webinar. And folks, tune in every single Sunday night so you can get everything you need to blow away the competition.